Hello and hi, welcome back to Educate WordPress where we talk everything and all about WordPress. I am Aisha and in this video we are going to see how you can set up the WordPress SEO with Yoast plugin. So SEO is a very important factor of the website and WordPress can turn out to be the best when it comes to SEO. Just because WordPress has many plugins that allow us to ease up the process, plugins like Yoast are the most, like, uh, most important ones uh, for the SEO uh, when you have a website. So Yoast is one of the famous WordPress SEO plugin which is free to use and with Yoast you can do many other things that are needed to for your website to rank on the Google or Bing or any other search engine. So uh, they have uh, other plugins uh, that are for local SEO, e-commerce SEO, news SEO, etc. So we are just going to use one of the uh, Yoast uh, major product which is the Yoast SEO and set up the SEO of our website. So uh, before we get into that video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel Educate WordPress as we come up with uh, videos every week on WordPress and WooCommerce to help you get your website performance and experience on top. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to install the plugin. Uh, so plugin and add new and search Yoast. So you will be able to see the Yoast plugin and it has already um, 5 million plus active installations. So let's install and activate this. Alright, so the plugin is installed and now we have to just activate the plugin. So once activated, you will be able to see the Yoast uh, uh, toolbar in the uh, sidebar or the dashboard and if you have uh, if you get a disclaimer uh, like this like huge seo issue uh, you, you must have to uh, make your website visible uh, to your users so if you have to go to the if you have this otherwise you can just leave this off so you just have to go to the reading settings uh, which um, so as to be visible the your website to be visible uh, to your uh, viewers so uh, down here you will be able to see the search engine visibility option so unless your website is just for index, uh, indexing or which uh, it is now not ready for uh, the visibility on your word, uh, website or it's just under construction you just have to tick it or else you have to uh, uh, un enable it maybe uh, and uh, make it visible to your search engine so only uh, the SEO will be working uh, really smoothly. So I'm just going to save the change and now you are set to uh, click on to the uh, SEO uh, dashboard. So here you will be see you have to first uh, first time SEO configuration you have to do this. Uh, this is kind of uh, eight nine step uh, procedure. Yeah, nine step uh, uh, thing. So first one you have to uh, make sure that uh, if your site is live and ready to be indexed, indexed means uh, your uh, website will be listed in the Google's search console. So uh, if it's option A or option B. So now I'm just going to click on the option A So and click on to the next. Also uh, uh, make sure which one is your website is a blog, online shop or whatever. Mine is an online shop so I'm just going to click. Uh, you just have to click whatever it's yours. Also you have to enter the name of your organization. Uh, choose the image, Facebook page. Uh, all these are optional. You can just click on to that or not. So I'm just going to click on to the next. You can enter your details uh, anyways. Also you have to uh, uh, make sure uh, all these are uh, checked in as uh, your pages, posts, products, everything should, will be listed on your uh, on the Google search console. So uh, also make sure if you have multiple orders. So obviously when you have a website, you there might be multiple orders uh, on your website. So you can click on to S yes, and if it's no, uh, no problem, just click on to the no option. So also uh, another pay, another thing is uh, you can choose what the separator is. Uh, basically, everyone has the uh, or the basic or uh, uh, standard one is the hyphen one. So you can just click onto that and just that is by default. And uh, if you want to track the website data, which we don't want, we already use uh, many other things for our website like Google Analytics, all those things. So you just don't want to use the use to access your website. So you just click on to the next 
and this is the last step here also you can click on to the next so success you have done it and we just have to close this so once the configuration is done now uh, we have to start the uh, start seo data optimization so you just have to click here the third option and now uh, the uh, seo optimization of data will uh, will be processing and once this is done your website is all set to you uh, just the uh, seo so this is going to take some time maybe well done that's done all right so let's go back to the dashboard and click on to the features here make sure everything is enabled um, everything is on the uh, seo analysis readability analysis readability analysis is basically the uh, ease of read like how the words are uh, written or how it is uh, it's like if you're using much easy simple vocabulary and all it's more uh, likely that your uh, seo is improved so you have to click on that and you have to click all these uh, on make sure it's all on and save the changes all right so next one is integration uh, so they have this sem rush integration and the right integration that uh, comes with the website you, you don't have to do anything and another thing is the webmaster tools so if you have the baidu verification code uh, bing verification code google verification code which is very important all those things you, uh, you just have to uh, add your verification code over here i'm just going to paste my uh, verification code uh, right there and click enter all you have to do is if you don't have one all you have to do is click on to this link and get your verification code which is basically your uh, search console link or the google analytics link uh, that is the google verification code ga code okay now search uh, now save this and you are all set your your is complete the configuration now if you go to your post uh, create a new post you will be able to see the yoast dashboard on the post that you have been writing on so now, uh, now you'll be able to see the Yoast SEO setting over here. Uh, what you have to do is whatever your focus keyword is, uh, you have to click on to the keyword over here. Now you can uh, write the, uh, now on the Google preview, if you click on the Google preview, you can uh, enter the slug. Slug is basically the uh, permalink of your website. You can click on to that and add a meta description. So meta description is whatever uh, the uh, Google search console list yeah, that, uh, a uh, uh, little description uh, that you have to write it with the keyword on and now here the seo anal analysis will be your analysis uh, will be uh, done once you have written the blog there will be some uh, you'll make uh, they'll suggest some improvements and whichever is right whichever is wrong all those things can be here and so whatever uh, problems are in the red one you just have to clear it out you just have to uh, do some adjustments for that and that's set and also you can search for the um, you can get the Yoast Premium to get uh, this uh, more keyword related uh, help and all those things. Also with the readability, uh, you can uh, again do the uh, analysis and uh, write things up. So that's it. That's how you can set up the Yoast in your website and it's very easy to configure this and this SEO is very much important for your website. So, uh, US SEO also uh, allows many other functionalities which allows you to rank up in the search engines once you upgrade into the premium version. So, that's it. Uh, that's all about today's video. Uh, Educate WordPress will bring you videos on plugins you are looking for. Please comment down uh, the plugin name in the video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video if you have liked it. And bye. We'll see you in another video. Bye.